so first of all what is bods why we need bods so so if i say if i can say so bods so bods is an etl tool so with this etl tool we can extract the data from different different sources and transform the data as per the business requirement and load the data into different target systems here i said like source system and target system source system might be oracle mysql sql sap it could be anything so and we are loading the data into particular target system even target system also like sql oracle mysql uh, hello kumar excuse me uh, sorry for the interrupt uh, are you sharing anything no no i'm not sharing i'll share in something yes yes uh, I'm, i'm giving brief about bods sure sure okay. so mm-hmm. like yeah so so we can load the data into uh, respect to i mean particular target system so target system might be any of the system either sap application or database systems anything so i can say why we need to go with bods so why not some other tool in market we have different different etl tools so but so bods is an sap recommended so it is an sap tool so in bod in sap we have different different modules over 200 plus modules so like material mm pico abap or this kind of sd and these kind of modules here if i speak about a particular module material master mm so here they have their own data so that data will be in some kind of source systems that that data we need to so migrate from source system to sap system so in that case in that case we are using the intermediary tool bods to perform the different kind of transformations different kind of uh, uh, mapping rules we can apply uh, different kind of uh, um, i can say business rules and we can convert the data from source so we can extract the data from source we can convert the data and we can load the data into a target system for this purpose we are using bods tool we can say bods tool as etl tool as, as well so etl is i told right etl extraction transformation and loading so that's why it is called as etl tool so i as i told in market we have number of etl tools so i can say ssis informatica bods teradata blah 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 tools are there so now i would like to show you some thing so let me know if you are able to see my screen so you are able to see my screen right so this is the screen how so bods look like so i can say here so if i tell about this kind of space this is the data stores how we are connecting database to bods tool so with this help help of help of for data stores we are connecting the source system and i can say with this data stores we are connecting the target system as well so this is the data store which is connecting bods and different type of source systems as well as target systems so now i would like to explain something about something about uh, architecture so what is uh, bods architecture so we can call bods as sap data service as well so data services so in the older version in the older version in the sense like 10 15 years back so it is from data integration options and data quality options separately like individual tools so after after certain time so bo company has acquired these two tools and they, they made it as sap sorry bodi and bodikl tool so bodi bodi is for data integration transforms bodiq is for data quality transforms so after after some more time sap purchased bo and they re- renamed it as bods by integrating those two tools 
they can uh, they can make those two tools into one environment so then they renamed it to bods so bods then it comes under sap bods so bods is business objects data services so business objects data services in the sense like it can deal with the different type of source data and it can be useful for extracting the data from different sources transforming the transforming the data in bods and load the data into different sources i can say nowadays if someone working on sap applications by using the bods tool i mean to say extracting the data from sap which is either lower versions and loading the data into sap which is higher version so we can call it as data migration so who are working on data migration i can say those people are hot cake in the market so very 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 good opportunities for data migration persons along with data integration and boda so only integration in the sense we are migrating the data to database like sql database mysql this kind of databases so if you are migrating if you are loading the data into this kind of application we can call it as data integrator and if you are loading it to sap application we can call it as data migration so now i would like to explain something about uh, data bods designer so this is the architecture so bods architecture it contains three layer architecture so one is user interface architecture and database uh, server layer sorry so user interface layer database server layer and uh, so platform layer so these three are the layers in user interface layer we can see the bods designer management console information steward and central management console cmc so here management console and uh, bods designer these two are comes under bods so bods is the designer it is a client tool we can install that in our local pc and management console is a web based application through web through url we can open this management console so those two are laid on same database those two are laid on same interface but one is web based application one is a client based application so bods designer it is a client based application where we can develop all set of our codes so in bods in generally uh, in java .net c where we used to call it as programs we are creating the programs but when we are coming into the data services bods business object data services so there are certain type of naming conventions we have the terminology naming terminology there we are calling the job uh, there we are calling the program as job so job in the sense not an it job so we can say job job in bods means so like in java .net, it is program here it is job so we can create that jobs it means to say like programs in designer bods designer that we can execute in bods designer or as management console tool as well so if you install bods sap bods package in that package you can get seven kind of tools seven kind of tools one is bods designer and second one is bods management console third one is uh, repository manager fourth one is server manager fifth one is data services workbench sixth one is uh, local selector and seventh one is uh, 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 language selector so these are the different different uh, tools which comes under bods package sap bods package so in these seven uh, tools those are interlinked i can say so if you want to run bods designer in bods designer that should be laid on one database where so we need to perform all our transformations everything and our metadata should load in some kind of uh, database so for that purpose we are using repository manager so repository is nothing but a, uh, it is kind of a connection to the database so all our metadata will uh, can store in that repository so what and all the developer are developing the objects that and all stored in local uh, repository so with the help of repository we can create different different type of repositories that will be connected to the bods so likewise if i want to run any job i mean to say program so we need servers so with the server manager we can uh, 
so create different type of servers to execute these jobs likewise management console management console is to execute the created jobs in data services without the data services help we can execute at the management console so likewise all the tools are interlinked tool which will support bods designer performance bods designer so i can say at user interface level we have i can say this is the gui where the user developing his object his jobs his programs that and all comes under user interface layer as i told database layer so database layer it comes as a repository bods repositories so these repositories this is connection to the data services designer here our metadata so what we are designing that will store over here and the platform layer here i told servers servers will create over here so likewise interface uh, it is a three type architecture those three type three types are interdependent so one thing will depend on some other thing other thing will depend on some other thing so without any of uh, without any of this kind of uh, interface we cannot perform bods see you can, you can say so these two are the tools this is the designer tool this is management console tool these are all are comes under bods so in designer we can design our jobs with the management console help we can execute the jobs even we can execute the jobs in designer as well and management console as well so these two are laid on one database that database is connected to one specific repository so that comes under over here and if we want to run that particular job what we developed in designer that will run based on certain kind of servers those servers will be uh, connected to the repositories then only we can execute our bods jobs i can say uh, don't uh, get confused about when i am speaking when i am speaking about job job is nothing but a program in uh, java.net like that so you need to start learning some kind of terminologies those terminologies are different from another coding languages and to here so this is this is the a small set of architecture i can say about a bods uh, any one of you have any doubts as of now so you can tell me then i'll, I'll try to clarify here about architecture now now i will show the data services designer right Hello. Are you able to hear me? Yes, yes, I can. Okay, okay. So one second, let me open data services. Got. It. so in, anyone has any, any uh, doubts or something like that uh, related to the architecture of bods so if you have anything so please uh, uh, raise your concern
So you, you are, all are able to see my screen, right? Hello. Hello. Are you able to hear me? I'm not getting any response from anyone. No, come on. We are unable to see your screen. Okay, okay, sorry. Let me reshare it again. Yeah, so now you can see my screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. And till till now you are able to see my screen, right? Yes. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah, nice, nice. Thanks for the response. Okay. So as I told, this is the BBDS designer. So this designer look like this. As I told, so here so I can say, so we can divide this designer into three parts. One is project area, and second one is local object library, and third part, third part is work area. So in the local object library, we have specific repository. As I told, repository means from here, we are able to connect a different type of databases as well as sources. We can connect to any type of database, any type of the SAP application. So if we have the proper credentials, so then in generally in uh, database uh, Oracle and all, so we can write the SQL codes over there, right? In DBMS everywhere. So if we have the proper credential to connect to that uh, system, then we can write all set of those kind of SQLs, everything in BODS. And so you can, I can say, you can play with the data, so whatever you want. You can transform the data like anything. So if you have any business rules, so you can go ahead with the transformations. And likewise, you can load the data into respect to target system as well, if you have the proper credentials to connect to that system. So with this repository, this is the repository, so local repository, we can call it as local repository. With this local repository, we are able to connect to the database. So I can say what and all the data we are uh, uh, fetching. So we can see that here, we can see only the metadata over here. Once you go over there into a particular database, then you can see the full set of data. So yeah, I'm just showing you one example. This is a specific data store. This is a specific database, which was connected to some database. So in that database, I have some table, FF, uh, I mean, TTF, SQL, something. In that data, I have, uh, in that table, I have some sample data, There's some small set of three line, some line items of data. So that I can see here. I can say, I can import the metadata into BODS. Then with this metadata, I can, I can do different type of transformations. I can do different type of conversions and I can uh, uh, derive uh, some set of uh, rule. I can derive some set of structure, what business is requiring. Then with that structure, I can load the data into some different uh, tables. Those and all happen with the help of a repository. So this is one kind of, uh, uh, in architecture, this is one kind of layer. And second one, I told server. So if I can click on here and we are able to see server, job server. So if I want to run any of these, then my job server should in active and it should be in running mode. So if it is not running, then I'll get the message over here saying that your job server is not working. Job server is another set of layer in our architecture. And the whole thing, this all are, so this all comes under data services designer. This is GUI, I can say, user interface. We can build whatever the jobs we required. We can work. We can do whatever we want to do. That and all we can do over here. This is the user interface. So now, as I told, we have three-tier architecture. So I showed you BODS and I showed you a repository. Don't consider all the things. This is Informatica tool, this is CMC, and you need to, if you are speaking about the data services designer, then we need to speak about the BODS management console and BODS designer and BODS repository. So likewise, we have the servers, BODS servers. So these and all, these are the part. So that's why I explained in clear diagram over here. So these and all comes under, so BODS architecture, user interface layer, repository layer, we can call this as a data service, database server layer and job server layer. So we can call this as server layer. This is just a brief about what is BODS.